He made a little bit of contact at the entrance to the tunnel turn right here. You just wonder if that jarred something loose electrically into that wall. And so the 15 on pit road, the hood up, not the finish Eric Jones was looking for. It's taking about a lap or lap and a half for Damon Lutz in that 22 to get going, but he gets a good restart. Kimmel's going to run into the inside. It's going to be a drag race for Irwin. Kimmel he got sideways there. Is he backed off the throttle or something? Whoa, and he's loose. He's very, very loose. He's got loose. a flat tire or something. Or he may have debris on his tires, possibly. He didn't get them cleaned off good. He has a big problem. We stay green. And a battle for the lead. Sheldon Creed. Side by side with Zane Smith. That's Creed on the low side. Smith up top. Oh, he gets loose. They make contact. And they know the race could be ending soon if the weather is nearby. Creed into the wall, hangs on to it. Smith maintains the advantage. Turn one, this is Barrel Bend where Newman has been better than straight the last several times. Here he goes, straights up the racetrack. Newman to the no, inside, they, they crash. Here goes straight, spinning around the corner. Bob straight spins out after contact from Ryan Newman. Hard into the inside guardrail. Jeremy Clements has made his way out of turn number two. He has one turn to go before he will win his first ever ARCA Remax Series race. He makes his way out of turn number three. Does he have enough fuel? He's and out of gas. Oh, he ran He's out, out of gas. gas coming out of three. And guess who will win the race? Michael McDowell will win as Jeremy Clements runs out coming out of turn number three. Can you believe that?